fine, thanks for your concern. You don't look fine. You look off colour. Kind of pale. <laughs> the fuck? As I was saying, you look pale. Maybe that's because you drive like a dick. Just don't embarrass me again tonight. Who do I have to fuck to get one of those? Mitchell, we need your special talents over here. Make yourself useful, get a man a coffee. Black, two sugars. A large one, darling. I really need to get one of those. I thought you already had one. Well, you're joking, the coffee tastes like shit. Constable, no coffee, thanks. We've got work to do. Who pulled it in? Security guard. Found the body doing his rounds. He looks pretty shaken up. Not surprising. You wait till you see it. Where's that bloody generator? Sorry, we're still getting set up here. We've got no power. Where's the body? Cellar. Down the steps, follow your nose. You're gonna need these. in for a treat. Bloody. Like a menstruating virgin at a gangbang. I'm not sure if it's the worst I ever saw, but it's a contender. Maybe you should sit this one out. I'll fill you in later. I'm fine. The man has a point, you know. Even my stomach turned over when I first saw it. You sure you're up for this? I said I'm fine. Whew. Oh, God. God, Jesus Christ, it's like a taco shop in there. What do you mean? It's just, it's like maggots everywhere. Oh, man. Yeah, I can take a look. Oh, God, the Met should let me freelance some of these to the National. I don't want to tear any lord. You sure you want to go in there, Detective? So immature. I'm absolutely fine. I mean, we wouldn't know what happened last time, right? I had stomach flu last time, OK? You all know that. Have you got stomach flu today? Oh, well, let's just do our job. At least you didn't contaminate the crime scene this time. So, we've got a serial killer. You think so? Genius. Well, it's clearly the same MO as the last one. I didn't realise you were Amish. Amish? Well, don't you own a TV? What are you talking about? Because even if you never had to learn police work like the rest of us plebs, anybody with a TV knows it takes three bodies to make a serial killer. You know what I'm saying? You're just being pedantic. Pedantic? And here's me thinking that pedanticness is the most important attribute of being a competent detective. Just tell me what we have. Let a guess, I'd say he's been here five or six weeks. Uh, I wouldn't touch that. Forensics? Leptospirosis. Rat piss. This place is infested. So, uh, he was killed, what, a month before the other one? No shit, Sherlock. This work is much cruder than the first one. 
The other one was more controlled, neater. Looked almost surgical to me. Practice makes perfect. Have you noticed the most obvious difference here? Yeah? Um. Come on, detective. You can do it. The numbers. What? The numbers on the wall. What are you talking about? The dates on the wall. They're different from the other scene. No, the body. Has he removed the heart from this one as well? Hard to tell before the autopsy. He's too far gone. There's blood around the head of this one. Well, it's not inconsistent with having your guts ripped out. We're going to be here all night, put her out of her misery. Unlike the previous victim, this one hasn't been restrained. Drugged? I hope so. We'll run the usual pathology tests, but given the state of the body, we might never find out for certain. So do you think he was alive when he was cut open? It's possible. Ready for your close-up? It's a coincidence. My wife's cooking ribs tonight. Give it a rest, Perkins. So, similarities. Both male, both IC1, both late 20s, same height, both athletic, both locations had the same satanic markings. Satanic? Like the port flexing his pecs to me. You're telling me that doesn't look like a cock? You must have one weird-looking cock. Don't act like you don't know what his cock looks like. Guys, focus. Jesus. This means we're most likely dealing with the same perpetrator. Victim one, the heart was removed. From the victim or the murder scene? Both, actually. The assumption is it's the same with victim two, but we're still awaiting the autopsy for confirmation. And where was the first victim found? At home, in the basement. I was surprised for his poor old cleaning lady when she went in and found the body. Any murder weapon? It looks like the killer used surgical tools. Bone saw, scalpel. So maybe he was a doctor. Hmm? Jack the Ripper was a doctor. Jack the Ripper was a lord. Aristocracy. Jack the Ripper was a barber. A barber? Oh, that was Sweeney Todd. Sweeney Todd? Not a complete retard. Aaron Kosminski, Polish barber. DNA evidence proves he was Jack the Ripper. Enough! If anybody mentions Jack the Ripper again, especially outside this room, they're suspended. The last thing we need is for the press to blow this out of proportion and get us swamped with mentally ill people making false confessions. Occupations? Victim one was a doctor. He spent the last three years saving the world. Volunteer medic in the back of beyond. Central America. He had only been back in the country a couple of weeks. Welcome home. Victim two had only been in the country for two months, too. Any sexual assault? Uh, not from the first victim, but again awaiting autopsy on victim two. Maybe the killer's homophobic. We don't know that the second victim was gay. Oh, come on. What straight guy ever spent that much time in the gym? Well, that's one thing you can establish when you interview all known associates. Are we going to find anything useful in this file, or is it just another bunch of dead leads? Oh, you've learned to read. They're not dead. They are leads that are still being investigated, and we have a new one. There was a date on the floor at the first scene. It was scratched into the concrete. For now, we just assumed it was put there by the builders. And now? We found this date on the wall last night. See how similar they are? Do we know what it means? Uh, no, not yet. We only just made the connection. Well, yeah, and assuming they are dead. I mean, this is not America, you know. So, the cock pope, have you got any idea what it's actually supposed to be? Sizzle of Beelzebub. Voodoo mumbo jumbo. And what about the circle of salt? It's a barrier against dark forces. Voodoo mumbo jumbo. A psychological profile. He's a nutter. There is a full profile report in the file. Forensics. File. Uh, nothing so far. He's either very careful or very lucky. And what about the second scene? File. Nothing as yet, but it was two months old. Rats had been at the body, so let's manage our expectations on finding anything useful there. <laughs>
And we're definitely sure this is the same guy. For God's sake, look, Inspector, we've got everything covered. Do we really need Laurel and Hardy here getting in the way of the investigation? If we had everything covered, we wouldn't have another murder victim. Fuck off. Oh, the glory I'm getting pissed off that the professionals are muscling in on his first real serial killer. It's not a serial killer. There are only two bodies. Actually, that's a common misconception propagated by lazy American TV shows. The official definition is two or more killings separated by a cooling off period. Enough. We're a team, so let's act like one. Look into the numbers scratched on the wall. Find out what he's trying to tell us. Victim two, all known associates. Find out who had access to the building. So how long have you worked at the site? Five months. What do you do? I am the security guard. Yes, but what does that entail exactly? I sit in a booth from 8 in the evening to 8 in the morning. And once every hour, I walk around with a torch so people see that I am there. What do you do the rest of the time? I like to read about astronomy. So you work nights? Any day shifts? That is Simon. We play chess, one move a day. We're still on our first game. Just the two of you? Yes. And what about your days off? I can't afford days off. Why did it take five weeks to find the body? We don't patrol inside the factory. It is derelict, locked up. You were there. So why'd you go in last night, then? I heard a noise. What kind of noise? A strange noise. It's scraping. Scraping? Sometimes you hear noises. Sometimes rats, sometimes foxes. Sometimes your mind playing tricks. So why did you choose to investigate this particular noise? It was a loud noise, like nothing before. Like pipes scraping on the floor. Maybe like someone stealing scrap metal. So I have a look. This is my job. What did you see? Aside from hell. Same as you. Did you touch the body? Of course I did not touch the body. I got out and called you straight away. Did you see the markings? The witchcraft? Symbols on the walls? <laughs> Where I'm from. Even Osaka. Witchcraft is an everyday thing. You see the pasta on Sunday. You see the witch doctor on Wednesday. I've seen witchcraft, good and bad. And I tell you now, sir, that was not witchcraft. Where can we find your chess apartment? That is some crazy Satan shit right there. How do you know the details of the murder scene? Tony told me. He sent me on from work. The pigs, please, have it all cornered off. You better bloody well pay me for today as well, the tight bastard. Who's Tony? I feel really bad about this. Really bad. It's terrible. Why do you feel terrible? Because it doesn't look good for a security company if the site that they're guarding becomes the scene of some kind of ritual killing. I guess it doesn't. We could lose a lot of business over this. And bad for the victim, of course. I'm so sorry. I, I haven't offered you any refreshments. Would you care for a cup of tea? I'm fine, thank you. Do you have any coffee? Sorry, I'm going to have to make it. We're not that type of setup that can afford assistance. Oh, coffee machines. How do you take it? Black, two sugars. So who exactly has access to the site? Just Femi and Simon. And you, obviously. Uh, well, Yes, and, and me. And what about holiday cover? Well, no one's gone on holiday for the past four months. It's just Simon and Femi, that's it. So they've worked 12 hour shifts, seven days a week for the past four months, no time off? Zero hour contracts. It's perfectly legal. It's the only thing that's kept us afloat since the economy crashed. Why no security cameras? No point. It's a derelict site. Plus, we'd be doing ourselves out of a job. So what you're saying is we have a murder in a locked-up site that only three people have access to? Well, uh, we three. And the owners, of course. I thought you owned it. <laughs> you're joking, aren't you? We just do security. If I was some sort of millionaire property baron, do you think I'd be drinking this shit? So who does own it? So 
Anderson Law, please. Do you have an appointment? Forty-seven floors. How high is that in meters? Although, to be honest, I prefer the cable to break than get trapped in here and slowly starve to death. Although, you buy me a few weeks. Hello? Susan from Straw Pier. Bad news about the sale. I'm sorry, what do you mean? Tiny little hiccup. Your buyers have pulled out. How can how can they pull out now? We've we've signed the contract. We complete on Friday. These things happen all the time. They said their loan fell through and. Uh... I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but that's bullshit. You told me they were cash buyers. Oh, there was a chain involved. Yeah. Well, then you misled me. Yeah. It'll be fine. We care about your experience. I can't talk about this right now. We'll sort it out. Yeah. So should I put it back on the market? Yeah. <laughs> well, what choice do I have? Don't worry, Miss Faraway. Everything's yeah. going to be fine. Okay. Call you later? Yep. After work. Put it back on the market. We've got it under control. It's a Thank hot you. market and we'll have mm -hmm. that house on yep. before you even notice. Bye. Idiots. What was that about? None of your business. Detectives, Vera Mason, property portfolio manager. How can I be of assistance? We're here to talk about Kingley Street. Quite. Let's go somewhere a little more private. Bloody hell. Please, take a seat. Could I tempt you with a coffee? Uh, no, thank you. Our chef has the beans himself. We have a lot of work to do, so we'll just ask you a few questions and then be on our way. So how long have you owned Kingley Street. We acquired it back on June 16th last year, so nearly 10 months ago. And why did you purchase it? Because we invest in property. How often do you visit the site? Not often at all. When did you last visit? Me, personally? Never. Well, not since we completed the purchase last year. There is no reason for me to go there. So other than yourself, who else has access to the site? Well, everybody. The keys aren't locked away. And I assume you have some sort of system to record who takes them? Site visit log. Everything's automated, fairly standard. Well, can we see it? Uh, sure. I guess so. I'll just have to check that with my... So, you've finally taken my job. Uh, still working <laughs> on that. No, this was an unscheduled visit. All the boardrooms were occupied. This is Mr. Sweet, our partner in charge. These are detectives. Faraway and Smith. Detectives? Don't worry, I can provide the alibi she was with me all night. <laughs> in your dreams. <laughs> we're here to talk about Kingley Street. Oh, of course you are. I heard about that. Awful. We were just requesting access to your site visit log. Access granted. Vera will arrange that right away. Detectives, my office is entirely at your disposal. How is it my fault? The buyer dropped out. All the contracts are signed. That's what I thought too. But you know what? Shit happens. But I'm the one dealing with the estate agent. I mean, we're Hold on. Excuse me, I have a prescription. What have you done? I said hold on. Yeah, oh, this is I expired. Well, it's out of date. I, I you need to go see your doctor and have it renewed. Uh, but it's a repeat prescription. Yeah, and it's expired. I mean, what have you done? Oh, yeah, can I help? Hello? Look, it's Hello? not like you can get high off these things. What's the big deal? It's called the law. I am the law. Well, then why are you trying to get me to Hello? commit a crime? Have you, can you hear me? Look, okay. Things at my work are really hard. I just, I really need these pills. Uh, Steve! You're really useless at this sort of stuff. I mean, I don't. Well, can you come out here, Steve? If you think you could do a better job, then you call the estate agent yourself. Yeah? Take responsibility for something once in your stupid. Can't I just have a tea, babe? Excuse me. Thanks. Hello? This is expired. Oh, Jesus, just give me the pills, will you? Why didn't you just tell us to go and get it renewed? Oh, I, can't, I, I can't deal with this right now. Wanker! Excuse me? Sorry, not you. That was, that was my ex. Don't blame him.
This crazy fuck is building some kind of Frankenstein's monster. While he's making a pie. Oh, that's an interesting theory. You got an alibi for last night. I'm not gonna lie to you. I was at home all night eating. How oh, your ex-wife. Too soon. Well, it rules out the homophobic theory. What are you talking about? That's not one of them lady boys. Or you'd be the expert. So this was done last night? Yes, the core's still warm. Her signs of rigor. So we can rule out the date theory then, too? A bit late for a last right. Oh, prepare to be impressed. Shit, there's not enough chapters, damn it. Just wait, let me check the Old Testament. Cause of death? She's got no eyes. Yeah, I can see that. Surely eye removal wouldn't lead to this much bleeding. Eh, Faraway? Epistaxis. The mother of all nosebleeds. Besides that and the eyes, no other signs of physical trauma. Can you die from a nosebleed? It's rare, but it happens. The wrists aren't bad. Do you think you'll have more luck with toxicology this time? Fresh body. We should know if she was drugged or not. Yes. Isaiah 28, 11. For with stammering lips and another tongue, he will speak to the people. I'm a genius. They're all verses about speaking in tongues. No shit. <laughs> I told you fuckwits it wasn't a date. Chapter, verse, book number. Our guy's an evangelical Christian. Don't look very evangelical to me. Excellent police work, detective. You've narrowed our list down to everybody in the country who has access to a Bible, you fucking dickhead. Who called it in? Well, isn't this a coincidence? Yeah. I'm screwed now, aren't I? How oh, so? Well, I was talking with my accountant about selling up and moving to Cyprus. No capital gains tax. Thinking of blowing this shit all and having a happy retirement in the sun. So what's the problem? Well, who the hell is going to buy the Ripper's favourite incompetent security firm? I'm ruined. I'm already struggling to keep hold of those contracts ever since that Kingly Street thing was in the papers. Why did you arrive on site before we did? I... You found a body, yeah? Yeah. So why didn't you call us? Oh, well, he's the boss. You get around, don't you? We do all the security for Sanderson Lyle sites. Sanderson Lyle? They get around a bit too. How long's he been your boss? Have you got access to Kingley Street? Oh, no, no, no. This is my first day. I'm from the temp agency. That is an eventful first day. Yeah, I'm a lost. So you called Mr. Dwyer? No, oh, look, I, I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't think. I was straight over here. I called 999 as soon as I saw the body. Did you touch it? Of course I didn't. We'll see. Mr. Sweet is expecting you. What a pleasure it is to see you both again. I just wish it was in more salubrious circumstances, please. So who's playing the good cop and who's playing the bad cop? Just a routine inquiry. Yes, it seems to be becoming the routine, doesn't it? Two bodies on two of your sites in two days. That is quite a coincidence. Coincidence is God's way of remaining anonymous. What are you saying? Albert Einstein. Scientist, crazy hair. We've looked through your Kingley Street logs. So nobody from this company has visited the site since you bought it. Don't you think that's strange? What I think is strange is why such a beautiful creature would choose to surround herself with death. Do you know how many derelict sites like Kingley Street I own? Enlighten us. Far too many to tell you off the top of my head. <laughs> Kingley Street hardly seems like a gold standard investment to me. No, I'm sure it doesn't. Mm, that's why I'm the youngest full equity partner in Sans and Lyle's long and distinguished history. And you're a policeman. A rebreather. You dive. Nothing like this. I'm assuming this is somewhere deep. As deep as it gets, the Chavez system in Mexico. You ever swim underground? No, I'm just a tourist. Shallow reefs, pretty fish, and then back in time for cocktails. Cave diving. Even the idea freaks me out. You never ever come your face until you face them. Carrying a big gun always helps, eh? What are your logs going to give us regarding the Jefferson site? Many hours of overtime. It's an active construction site. We'll have numerous employees visiting on a regular basis. 
And you? My numerous employees men are down to visit building sites. So you personally have never been there? No, no time. Too many caves to explore. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks. How are you? I'm very well. Thank you. Is there anything you'd like to talk about? Yes. I would just like to get this prescription renewed so I can get back to work. That's not strictly what I'm here for. You'll have to see your own doctor for personal prescriptions. Of course, if I could get any time off, which isn't really happening right now, is it? And how is work? Yeah, fine. Busy, obviously. Serious crime squad. That's quite a step up. Your father must be very proud. <laughs> I'm sure he is. <laughs> Tell me. Oh, for God's sake. Really? Tell me about your relationship with your father. Oh, Jesus Christ. Should we move on? Maybe next time. Have you experienced any more extreme reactions at crime scenes? Oh, my God, I told you. I've been getting over stomach flu, OK? So uh, I'm absolutely fine. You seem agitated. Yeah, I am agitated because I have a job to do. So I just want to get this prescription renewed so I can get back to it. We both have a job to do. Rebecca. Mine is to make sure you are healthy and happy. worked in San Juan Batista Tuxtepec. What are you jabbering about? That's only 80 miles from Chavez. Well, like he said, what are you jabbering about? We can connect him with sweets. You sure you don't require a lawyer? <laughs> I spend my life surrounded by those parasites. This makes a pleasant change. Do you know this gentleman? No. How about her? No. Him? No. Why don't you take a closer look? No. I suppose you're going to tell me he works for Sanson Lyle. No, he doesn't. So why would I know? Just to clarify, you've never seen this person before. Not that I recall. You were visiting in Oaxaca between the 2nd and 28th of July? Mm, it's possible. I was in Mexico around those dates. You'll have to check with my assistant for confirmation. No need. We have your flight records right here. My private jet, I say. I occasionally slumbered in first class. This gentleman was also in Oaxaca at the same time. Good for him. Is it a delightful part of the world? He worked as a doctor at the Tuxapec General. A most noble profession. Did you seek any medical treatment during your visit? I didn't. I'm a picture of health. Unfortunately, we cannot say the same for our friend here. Or him. What 
the numbers. Why don't you tell us? So is that plunging netline designed to pick out a confession out of me? We have three murders. Two bodies were discovered on your site. A third victim was in the same remote region as you were, two weeks before he came back to London and was killed. I take it you're suggesting I'm connected in some way. Are you? <laughs> of course not. But the coincidences are really mounting up. And that's all they are. And you really expect us to believe that? I don't care what you believe. Your beliefs don't affect reality. <laughs> and the reality is I have nothing to do with any of this. There's no way that this is a coincidence. The man isn't right, Inspector. I can see him playing dresser with his mother's rotting corpse. Let's liaise with the local police in Tuxedo, Mexico. See if they can show Sweet's picture around the medical center where the doctor worked. Can anyone speak Spanish? I can try. Me have no Espanol. <laughs> hey, you're gonna love this. Can't we fit any more in? A special branch has kindly agreed to give us some extra manpower. This is Detective Constable Rice. Hello. And we are all going to give each other our full cooperation. Detective, this is my team. DC Lawrence and DS Perkins. And we've met. Hello, Eli. I'm Detective Faraway. Faraway? He's in Commissioner Faraway. How do you think she got the job? Same way I got him. Police work. Let's do some. I couldn't agree more. This is our person of interest, but everything's circumstantial so far. Let's turn up the gas. Perkins, get Rice a copy of the case file, then go back to all known associates of the victims and see if you can pin them to Sweet. Anything that might link him to the victim. Right. Eli, set up a 24-hour surveillance on Sweet. He doesn't take a piss without you timing it and telling me what colour it was. I love this job so much. Can you help out with the hardware? That's what I'm here for. What about me? You go home and rest. Well done, detective. You deserve it.
Good morning to you, too. Is it still morning? I've been waiting out here so long, I'm surprised it's not lunch. Uh, never gets old. Just drive. <laughs> I hope the other guy came off worse. Oh, I've got a sidus condition. Not usually as bad as this. And again, I rarely enjoy such an exciting evening. What happened? Absolutely nothing. He arrived at his apartment shortly after nine. Hasn't been out since. You managed to get all this gear up in one night. I'm impressed. I try. No. We're piggybacking onto the building security system. We have front entrance. Rear, that's where his car's parked. We've got a car at the back? Of course. All well, bases covered. I hope so, because we've got movement. Where are you going? We're following him. We can't follow him, he knows us. Better make sure he doesn't see us then. Perkins, heads up, he's on his way. What car? You'll know it when you see it. Guys, you on him? Like a rush. We just turned east off the embankment. We're following you. Stay on the air. Don't get too close. Obviously. Can't let him see us. Yeah, I have done this before. Guys, he's heading for Kingley Street. Are you sure? He just took a left on Stanway. We'll take the loop. Roger that. Can't you go any faster? Where are you? We're two minutes closer to Kingley Street than when you asked two minutes ago. What do you think I need it? Maybe. Might be good for the nerves. Come on, it's good to share. No shared before. Well, it's a peace offering. I would have gotten you flowers, but I didn't want to give you the wrong idea. Thanks. Four hundred yards. Perfect. You can hang back, Perkins. We can see him. Can you see this? I can't see shit. What's happening? Good work. <laughs> Smith, Perkins, where are you? Kingley Street, Inspector. We followed Sweet right here. Get down to Brookfield Park right away. Not now, Inspector. We're about to get him. No, Detective, you are not. Get down here, now. Uh, you don't understand. We have Sweet. He's up to something. Detective, just get down here. On the double. He's getting cocky. What do you mean? Ooh. Out in the open like this. I would say that... Oh, uh, he's taken a kidney this time. You're certain Sweet didn't leave his flat? 100%. I want to go through the tapes. 
I'm not blind. I know what I saw. Or didn't see. <laughs> Look, darling, I know how to do my job. This took place? Last night, within the last six hours, without a doubt. It's not possible for Sweet to be our man. Serial killers worked in pairs before. Uh, it's possible, but it's rare. These guys are pretty much always lone wolves. Many things are possible, but I'm not going to waste taxpayers' money on possibilities. We're taking the 24-hour surveillance off Sweet. You can't do that. He was obviously up to something. Why was he at Kingley Street? Well, he owns her. We have a murder victim here. You have a man taking a bag out of his car. And his links to all the other victims? All circumstantial. Look, we know who the victim is, we know where he worked and lived. Work associates. Done. Rice, family and other associates try to establish a link with the other victims. Not really what Special Branch is trained for, but sure. What is that? Print. A rare moment of carelessness. We know where he bought this. Look underneath. He forgot to take off the label. <laughs> you two, check it out. This is the best lead we've had. Track down the retailer, speak to the owner, check transactions, CCTV coverage, and inquire. <laughs> the fuck was that? What is it? Uh, I thought it saw a... What? What's wrong, Rebecca? A rat. I thought I saw a rat. A rat? Jesus! I don't like rats, OK? I'm sorry. Evidently. Now you've got your puking under control. Maybe you want to work on those nerves, yeah? House, Miss Faraway. I have a feeling Mr. Wilkinson won't be buying it. You really need to get your wiring fixed. Awful. I didn't sleep very well. What's your excuse? <laughs> Hello? Hello, can we speak to the proprietor? No. No, what do you mean, no? See our terms and conditions. We are strictly mail order, no exceptions. We never entertain customers in person. If you've got a complaint, send us an email. We're not customers, we're the police. Police? Do you have a warrant? We just want to ask you some questions. 
Look, man, I've already been through this with trading standards. It says quite clearly on my website in several places that results are not guaranteed. This is a perfectly legitimate business. We're not here to investigate your business. We're investigating a murder. Murder? This is not what I expected a voodoo shop to look like. Hey, what did you expect? A basement lair with shrunken heads and strings of garlic hanging from the ceiling? <laughs> Burning incense? Creepy dolls and glass cases? Uh, well, yeah. Here, how about that? Hmm? What can you tell us about this? It's a talisman candle. Powerful ritualistic aid used to channel the practitioner's energies. They come in a variety of colors. Each color has its own vibrations and powers. So what powers and vibrations does this color have? Uh, you know, I don't remember. <laughs> I'd have to check the website. Do you know Michael Sweet? No. Do you have a customer database? Do you have a warrant? Not yet, but considering the fact that your products have been found at the scene of a brutal murder, it's not going to be difficult to get one. Or to hold you in a cell for 24 hours. Okay. <laughs> I'll print you out a copy. Who knew this voodoo crap was so popular? Sweet's not on here. Forget about Sweet, you're becoming obsessed. You can buy stuff online anonymously, right? We have 300 new leads right here, and Sweet has half the Met as an alibi. Forget about it. Even if he's not buying directly, any one of these names could be his collaborator. Collaborators? We could have an entire satanic cult on our hands here. Either way, Sweet is involved, I know it. Look, go home. Remember how awful you looked this morning? Well, that was 12 hours ago. We can go through the list in detail tomorrow. Yeah, OK, I'm just going to... You need to relax. I am relaxed. Let's get a drink. You know, a drink. It's what people do after a long day on the job. I mind a bit. Um, no, Th thanks. I'm, ah, uh, you're right. I'm tired. I'm gonna go home. It's been a long day, so. Good. Okay. Make sure you go straight home. I will. Promise? Promise?
said, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Tell us about M&R Trading. Who? Stands for Magic and Ritual. They sell occult supplies. They aren't a client of mine. Yeah, we know that. But you're a customer of theirs. Am I? What is this? I've never heard of them. So tell me why your credit card was charged £76 by them last October for a delivery to this address. What? It can't have been. Well, I don't know. Well, what is this? Do, do I need to get a lawyer? Items from this shop were found at all the crime scenes. You were a customer. We just need to rule you out. <sighs> Halloween. Halloween. We had a Halloween party and I, I bought some party toys from their sites. What did you buy? Uh, masks, uh, uh, creepy uh, costume capes, you know, Halloween stuff. Candles? Candles? Uh, no, not candles. L look, I have pictures. That was a great night. Three-day hangover. Seeing things that aren't real. Hallucinations. What type of things? Like, um, the face of someone we're investigating. Your serial killer? Yeah, and, uh, things in the corner of my eye. When did this start? Um, a few days ago. Since we renewed your prescription. I don't... Uh, actually, yeah. Have you been drinking? Some, but this has never happened before, so... Rebecca, you know you should never touch medication with alcohol. Yeah, but like I said, this hasn't... And have you been under any stress in your personal life recently? You know I have. And how is work going? I hear you're all under a lot of pressure. The usual. Homicide. Is this your first serial killer case? It is. I, I, I hear it's terribly gruesome stuff. <clears throat> and you're partnered with Detective Sergeant Smith. I am. How's that going? He can be quite prickly sometimes. I think I can't handle. Look, Rebecca, this is clearly an incredibly stressful time in your life. Couple that with drinking a little too much alcohol whilst taking these very powerful anti-anxiety medication. It's little wonder things are feeling out of control. Here's what we're going to do. We are going to try you off on a new prescription and you are going to cut out the alcohol completely. Not at all. Okay? Don't worry. Everything's going to be fine.
He just came in, confessed to the killings, and then clammed up. Says he'll only speak to you. Me? Why? He wasn't very coherent. So, she's arrived. Start talking. Hello, Mr. Dwyer. I hear you would like to talk to me. I did it. You did what? I killed... Who did you kill? Everybody. 
Could you be a little more specific? Kingley Street, Brookfield, the jogger, the doctor. I killed them all. I did it. Why did you kill them? I can't remember. Right, so you remember killing them, but you don't remember why you did it. No. Yes, I must. I must just be evil. How did you choose your victims? I can't remember. Did you know your victims before you killed them? Did I, did I know them? I don't think so. Which victim did you kill first? I don't know. What does it matter? They're all dead now. We need to establish the details. We need to establish that you actually did it. Why have you chosen now to confess? Because it's the right thing to do. What's with all the demonic stuff? Satan. Satan must have driven me to it. Why have you been removing body parts? Body parts? Oh, I must be sick. Okay. okay, take a breath. Okay, relax. Would you like a coffee? Coffee? Me? No, I don't want a fucking coffee! I just want to get rid of this terrible guilt! Have you killed anyone else? Aside from the people in the papers, I mean. Oh, God. Yes, I have. Lots of people. All those faces. This is a nightmare. It's a nightmare. You don't actually believe him, do you? What do you mean? Look at him. He's insane. Of course he is. He's a serial killer. No, I don't buy it. Why would he suddenly confess now? Because he's insane. Why did he only want to talk to you? Because he's insane. Why has he been removing organs from victims? Because he's insane. Look, every question you ask can be answered because he's batshit crazy. How many fake confessions have we had on this case so far? As many as you'd expect on a case like this. Oh, come on, he's given us specifics. What specifics? He's given us nothing. Look, this guy isn't some random nutter. This guy's connected. He's on the list. We were at his office just yesterday. Yeah, we were. Maybe we pushed him over the edge. You're damn right we pushed him over the edge. That's police work. You want him to be guilty. What, the guy who's just confessed? The guy we've got in custody now? The guy who's linked in numerous ways to a series of vicious, bloody murders? Yeah, I want the scumbag to be guilty. Means we've finally got the psycho off the streets. Excuse me if I don't feel like celebrating the death of another human being. Oh, quite not far away. We've cracked the case. Did we? Not this again. The guy's house was practically a shrine to Satan. He confessed. He killed himself. Case closed. End of story. Now shoot. Same again, the noisy table in the corner. You are a damn fine detective, you know that. Thanks. Damn fine. I appreciate it. Yeah, so you got the wrong guy this time, but you, you followed the trail, you know? You linked the pieces. That's all you can do. Yeah. yeah we make a great team. 
Gibby. Great. You are your father's daughter, that is for sure. He must be very proud. Yeah, I'm sure he is. I'm glad you didn't get his looks, though. <laughs> I have to take this. Yeah. Okay. You miss me? No, I don't. What? what? That's because you're a miserable bitch. Just, just sell the house. God, I, I can't stand to hear your voice. You're just so fucked up. Just, just fuck off. I like, don't ever want to think about you again. You know, you push nice people, nice people like. <laughs> The copulation can be violent and last up to 30 minutes. Detective Faraway? Do you know what time it is? Look, please, sorry, I, I really need to speak to you. It's urgent. Hate to say it, but, you know, sales are through the roof. <laughs> there really is no such thing as bad publicity. <laughs> you know, um, I gave the other officers access to all my files. So, so... what do you call yourself? Doug. No, I mean, are you, um, are you a witch doctor, a shaman, or...? <laughs> what are you, serious? Yeah. I'm a businessman. What about all of this? Huh? This crap? This is just stuff I sell to whoever's gullible enough to buy it. You don't believe in any of it? What's this all about? I've been, um, 
seeing things. What kind of things? I don't know. Ghosts? Horrible things. Um, how often have you been seeing these horrible things? All the time. I think I've been uh, cursed or possessed or something. Okay. So, I'm really sorry. I, I don't think I'm the person you should be speaking to, you know. Maybe I, I can call your doctor. No, 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 no. Doctors, they all think I'm mad, so. And so do you. I, I, I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, yeah, I'll go. I'll go. Wait. Sit down. It, it's okay. So how long have you been seeing these ghosts? When I started working this case, you know, um, all the murders, they were, they were ritualized satanic symbols everywhere. Um, I think I've been, uh, I think I've been infected by something. Do you think that's possible? Do I think it's possible that you could be possessed by some kind of satanic entity? Yeah. No. I think you may have let your imagination get the better of you. I mean, it must be really stressful being confronted with all of this. Seeing what you do in, in your work, I mean. You don't believe in demons. Demons? Black magic, the occult. You don't believe that, that magic exists. No, I didn't say that. Magic exists uh, in a way. You know, sleight of hand, uh, smoke and mirrors, suggestion, misdirection. If you believe it can happen to you, then maybe it will. You know, the placebo effect believed in any of this before. I mean, you know, I'm a rationalist, for God's sake. That's why I became a detective. So, so you think it's possible that someone could be making me believe? Isn't that what magicians do? So what do I do? Ignore it. It's not real. Just close your eyes, count to 10. Just let it wash over you. I know it can be hard to unbelieve something. But if you stop feeding these visions, they will go away. Unless, of course, you really are crazy. <laughs> hey, do you see anything now? See, it's working already.
a message. Hello, Eli. It's Rebecca. Okay, I, I know we haven't spoken since, and, and I'm really, really sorry about that. I was in a really bad place, okay? But um, I've broken into Sweet's apartment, and I was right, okay? He's the killer. He's the Satanist. Get here now. Bring everybody. Eli saved my life. Never lived that down. Where is he? He's in the waiting room. I think he was embarrassed that he was so wrong about everything. <laughs> Rebecca. I'm sorry. Sorry? What for? For... Everything. I know I haven't always shown it, but I've always been so very proud of you. I love you. Sorry. You need to rest. Get off me. Do as your father tells you and lie on the bed. This isn't real. Don't struggle. You're only going to make it worse. This is not real! They know everything. Oh, yes, the police department's finest. I'm sure he'll be here any second. I think I can hear sirens in the distance already. You're crazy. <laughs> Those in glass houses, Becca. You must realize none of this is real. Are you sure about that? How do you think I got into that mixed up little head of yours this last month? I feel for you. I really do. That wasn't a pleasant place to reside even before I got in there. I'm in your debt, you know. I was all ready to give up on this little experiment until you gave me the key. He has been trying to speak to me. I just never waited around long enough to hear him. Instant gratification. I've always struggled with that one. Okay, I understand, OK? It isn't your fault. You aren't fully... The numbers on the walls. I didn't leave those messages at the crime scenes. I didn't even know they existed till you very graciously showed me those photos. <laughs> that wasn't me. It was him. Oh, Mark 16, 17. Cast out devils, they shall speak with new tongues. Though I speak with the tongues of men and angels, and I have not charity, Corinthians 13, 1. Just let me go, okay? I can get you help. Come on, detective. Haven't you worked it out yet? I've been offering up the wrong body parts all this time. <laughs> He's telling me he needs your tongue. Oh, my tongue. Oh. At least I think that's what he's telling me. You're going to have to bear with me on this. This is all new ground. 
We're traveling into the unknown together. The only difference is, I'm coming back. All right, have it your way. No anesthetic. I was trying to be nice. I offer you this tongue. Now speak. Are you here? Hello? Sorry about the tongue thing. I feel really terrible now. This isn't how to conduct a negotiation. First, we make a little small talk, build rapport, develop trust. <laughs> okay, straight to business. You're the boss. Okay. Come on. You know exactly what I want. I want to be like you. I want real physical power. I'm bored of having nothing but these tedious little mind tricks to work with. It's so tiring. I want to manipulate hard, objective, tangible reality. Haven't I given you enough already? What will you take? Oh, don't be ridiculous. That's never going to happen. Try again. My life. That's almost as bad as my soul. Why are you treating me like an imbecile? Do you have any idea who I am? I'm the youngest full equity partner. Hey, I respect you. Calm down. A life. Her life. Will that work for you? You're awake. Wait, don't move. Guys, guys, she's awake. You'll be all right. I'm here.
We were so worried. <laughs> Don't try to speak. She can't speak, you insensitive dick. I'm sorry. Here. Yes. Yeah. Oh, you detective. Not like you ever had anything interesting to say. Better watch yourself, Perkins. You saw what she did with the Ripper. We all saw what she did to Smith. Fuck How well did you do it? He's like twice your size. How do you know it was him? What was his motivation? All right, boys, let's break it up. We can do this later. Rebecca needs her rest. Sorry. Sorry, detective. Yeah, you get some rest. We'll be back in the morning. Good work, partner. Mm. What do you mean? That must be the morphine. I don't understand. This is real. I'm sorry for everything that it is. Look into the light, please. You might feel a scratch. You can look away if you want. It's not going to work anymore. 